Focusing the radio waves is of particular importance. In this video, we will make a precise radio concentrator that can provide a research way for the interested and students of this field at a reasonable cost. Of course, radio receivers have certain forms depending on the frequency of the waves. And for ease of work, in this video, the scientific method of making a satellite receiver is discussed. I hope you make good use of this video, thank you for liking and subscribing to the video, thanks Ibrahim Hashemi. Warning. Being in the focus of large radio dishes is dangerous for health. Peace be upon you dear ones, welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. I am Ibrahim Hashemi and this is another Fixed Focus Program. Fixed focus programs are dedicated to clean energies. But because the use of radio waves is very widespread, we devote this program to the construction of a concentrator for satellite waves. In fact, solar dishes concentrate sunlight and satellite dishes also concentrate a wide range of radio waves, and both are part of electromagnetic waves. The simple method shown in this video can be a model for making large radio dishes. And the bigger the dish, the higher the concentration power of the waves. With this method, anyone can have a satellite concentrator in any area. This method can be a model for making large and very cheap and light radio dishes. With this method, a valuable radio direction finder can be made, which will be of interest to enthusiasts, researchers, and students. Well, let's go to build a satellite dish. To make a satellite dish, we need a template, this template can be a part of a geometric sphere. The spherical mold that you see is related to making a solar dish and its radius is 2 meters, and of course you can make it with a suitable radius. Of course, it is much easier to make satellite dishes than solar dishes. Also, the larger satellite dish will increase the power of concentrating the waves much more. And it will overcome unwanted radio noise. You will see how to make this template in this 24 second video. Well, let's go see the video. Of course, you can watch the full video by clicking on the link above. Well, you have seen the summary of the video of making this spherical mold. You can prepare this mold with any radius. And even change the shape of the cross section of the mold to other geometric shapes. And if you are careful in making the spherical mold, you can make a very accurate concentrator of satellite waves. First of all, I will remove this mold forming base, which did not need to be removed before. I prepared 6 iron flat bars with a diameter of 2 mm for the surrounding of the dish. We place these iron flat bars on the surface of the mold in such a way that it forms a square, this square will be 90 by 90 cm. Iron flat bars can be easily bent to fit the arc of the mold sphere. And after placing two central iron flat bars, we will start welding them. Now the welding work is done and I mark the location of this iron window on the mold with spray paint.
Now the place of the iron structure on the mold is determined and I paint this iron structure. And now it is the turn to spread a thin plastic cover on the mold. The thinner the plastic, the more accurate the work is done. Now I stapled the plastic over the mold and I smoothed its surface. We can implement two methods to focus the satellite waves. Or we can apply fiberglass on this plastic and at the end of the work, we stick an aluminum strip on the surface of the dish and paint it, which is not an interesting method and its life will be short. The second method is much better and before introducing it, we must first know that satellite frequencies can be between 3 and 30 gigahertz, in which case their wavelength will be more than 10 millimeters. In the figure you can see the radio wavelength range. Therefore, in the second method, we can use a metal mesh whose holes are much smaller than the wavelength we want. This metal net can be a mosquito net, which reflects these waves like a mirror. If you have noticed, microwave ovens also have a metal net on their door, which prevents their dangerous 2.4 GHz waves from spreading outside. Although the light passes through this net, so I use an aluminum mosquito net. In addition to not being oxidized, the aluminum mosquito net has another interesting property, which is that it acts like a cloth and covers the surface of the mold easily. This is an aluminum net whose length and width are 1 meter by 1 meter and I easily staple it to the plaster mold. I do this and we go to continue working. Now I stapled around the aluminum netting. And as you can see, the net and plastic below it is completely attached to the surface of the mold and has taken the shape of the mold. I spray painted this iron structure. And I made holes to place the LMB support legs and drilled a suitable hole in the center. Now, for fiberglass, I must say that you must use special fiberglass fibers, and I use the needle type. 2.5 liters of polyester resin is enough for the surface where I want to do fiberglass work. And also a small bottle of cobalt accelerator liquid. And I have prepared a small bottle of catalyst for this purpose. To speed up the work, we mix cobalt with resin and use a catalyst in the steps of using it. Those who are not familiar with making fiberglass must watch the training videos related to making fiberglass before proceeding and be sure to use gloves and a mask. In this video, there is not enough time to explain how to work with fiberglass, because the video is going to be long. First of all, we have to do fiberglass in the places that are placed under the metal structure. For this purpose, I use suitable pieces of fiberglass fibers that I have cut. Now we carefully place the iron structure in the desired place and on the mold. Of course, before the fiberglass dries and after that, we continue the work on the iron structure. Now the fiberglass work is finished and we let it dry completely for 24 hours. 
and then we take the dish off the mold. Well, almost 24 hours have passed since the fiberglass dried and I think it is completely dry. Apparently, the surface of the mold is very solid. Of course, it is possible that the moisture under the mold will cause the fiberglass resin to not dry well. Anyway, we remove the mold to see how our satellite dish turned out. I will cut the excess around it with an electric cutting machine. And now I re-drill the holes that I need and which are covered with resin. Now all the aluminum mesh is visible uniformly. For the base of the dish, we use an iron pipe of suitable length and cut it diagonally in the middle and then weld it together. Well, this is how I made the base. And the satellite dish should be placed in line with the foundations, so that it can be in a state of balance. Well, there are different methods to move the dish in different directions and adjust it accurately. I want to use ball joint and it is easily available. And you can use the second hand that is related to the car. See the figure. As you can see, this ball joint can easily rotate in different directions. Of course, it has a lot of weight bearing. I have made a hole in the back of it, where a suitable screw can be placed as a pressure to prevent the metal ball from rotating. The sample I prepared is this, and it is fixed to an iron corner with two screws and I have welded a nut behind it and on the iron corner. It can move in any direction by loosening the screw behind it. Now, if I tighten it, the ball joint will no longer move and will be very strong. I have already cut the top of the vertical base with a suitable slope and put the ball joint on this slope and weld it. Its maximum movement can be this much up and down. And if you need the dish to be in a higher position, you can cut the slope more. And the dish can monitor vertical satellites. Well, I'm going to weld this to the base and then move on. Now I have welded it and will spray paint it. Now, to place the dish, we first place two appropriate washers below. Now we pass the ball joint screw through the central hole of the dish. We close another washer with an iron nut on it.
Now it is easy to put the satellite dish in different positions by loosening the screw behind the ball joint. To the left or up or to the right. And we put it in any position we want and tighten the screw behind it. To test the dish and install the LMB, it should be moved to the roof and the holes for the LMB bases are at the top and bottom. Let's go to continue working. Well, I moved the dish to the roof. I have prepared three long thread bolts with a length of 1 meter, and I have connected one side to the LMB base and the other side will be connected to the satellite dish. I should have used a longer long thread bolt because the distance between the center of the dish and the focus should be 1 meter but because the dish has a very good focusing power, I don't think it will cause a problem even at the lower point of focus. To accurately determine the focus location of the satellite dish experimentally, you can stick four small pieces of mirror in the four corners of the dish and place the dish perpendicular to the sun's rays, any point where the focus of reflected light was there is the focus of the dish. Well I got a regular LNB and will mount it on the stand. I connect the coaxial cable to the LNB and the other end to an analog satellite finder, which can be adjusted by turning the potentiometer to adjust the dB received. First, I connect the coaxial cable of the receiver to the LNB. You can see that the satellite finder hand does not move at all. I have placed the satellite finder in front of the camera so that it can be easily seen. Now the satellite finder connection circuit is complete and I have already placed the dish in a certain direction. And I want to adjust the satellite dish precisely. I decrease the potentiometer of the finder and adjust the dish again. You can see that it is set very sensitively and the finder potentiometer is at the end. The dish's focusing power is very high and it can easily focus the smallest satellite signals. If we choose a bigger dish, its focusing power will focus any type of radio wave that has a suitable frequency for the dish. This dish can also be used as a transmitter. Let's look at the fixed focus system. We can also use the fixed focus system for radio concentrators. With the difference that instead of a solar dish, we use a radio dish. And in this case, the focus may not be fixed and the focus may move along with the radio dish. And only the vertical and horizontal rotation of the dish will be fixed according to the focus system, which is very simple and cheap. Also, the solar tracker is no longer effective and a radio tracker should be used. Different methods can be used to prepare the radio tracker. One of the methods is to use this small radio dish. 
If you look closely, it is a small dish with a receiver in its focus. This small dish can rotate in different directions and scan the space. And it can be placed on top of the fixed part of the system. This tracker can scan the space with two step motors, 360 degrees, horizontally and 90 degrees vertically. Of course, in theory, space scanning requires infinite time, but in practice, this is not the case. Therefore, with a radio tracker whose amplifier can be a finder circuit, it is possible to find out the existence of a radio source and send its address to the main radio dish through the command circuit and put the large radio dish in that mode. This will be done easily and at low cost. Of course, the system itself can also search for the source of the waves, but it will not be suitable due to its weight and low speed and depreciation. Of course, other systems can be used for tracking, which will be more complicated and working with them requires more equipment. You saw how well this satellite dish that we built worked. And it really made a very good focus in focus and at the same time it will be cheap and will never oxidize. I have to say two things, first, when preparing fiberglass, first dip the aluminum mesh without fibers in a small amount with the prepared resin and let it dry for half an hour, and then continue working with fiberglass fibers. This prevents the aluminum mesh from changing shape and helps to increase the focus of the waves. The second point is that you can put a suitable weight on each of the bases to prevent the dish from changing its position due to the wind. This satellite dish is completely resistant to rain, heat and cold and has a longer lifespan than metal dishes. The weight of the dish without the bases is almost 3 kilograms. The heavy base causes the center of gravity of the system to go lower and helps balance it. I hope you are satisfied with this program and accompany me in this way, so bye until the next program.